Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve a question from NET 2019 December. So the question is about sequence. So give, we have given a sequence of non-negative real numbers and we have asked about the true statements from the following statements. The question is from part B, so only one option is correct. So we have given a sequence xn of non-negative real numbers that means the terms xn are greater or equal 0 for all n greater or equal 1 that means n is a from natural numbers now note that limit infimum of xn is less equal limit xn is less equal limits supremum of xn now from this xn is greater or equal 0 we note that this limit x limit infimum of xn is always greater or equal 0 because this 0 is just a lower bound for xn so from let us see say this is star so star implies limit in of xn is greater or equal 0 so we have 0 less equal limit in of xn is less equal limit xn is less equal limit supremum xn now if we have some something about limit supremum of xn then we can clearly say about limit limit of xn now from this second uh, from the second option we have limit supremum of xn is equal to 0 so this thing is 0 now this 0 is less equal limit infimum of xn is less equal limit of xn is less equal 0 that means limit of xn is equal to 0 because if 0 is less equal a is less equal 0 from for a, a to be, uh, for a real number a then this gives us a is equal to 0 so limit xn is 0 if limit xn is 0 then this clearly implies limit of xn square is also 0 because limit of xn square is equal to limit of xn into xn the sequence xn into xn and this equal to limit of xn into limit of xn correct but we know that limit xn is equal to 0 so this is 0 into 0 which is equal to 0 that means limit xn square is 0 correct so this is since so option second is correct option now if we go for our first third and fourth then these are clearly wrong options because i will give you the counter example uh, so for first the counter example is you take xn is equal to the sequence 0 1 0 1 and so on 0 and 1 are placed alternatively then for this sequence xn square is again a sequence xn because 0 uh, square of 0 is 0 and 1 square is also 1. So for this sequence limit infimum of xn is 0 because 0 is the lower bound and 0 is occurring at the odd places. So limit infimum is 0 but in this case the limit xn does not exist because uh, see that it has two convergent subsequences namely 0 and 1 the sequences of zeros and 1s so which converges to two different limits 0 and 1 so it is a divergent sequence so there is no question about limit of xn as limit xn uh, is equal to limit of xn square so limit of xn square is also not there so it is divergent so limit xn square mm -hmm. is clearly not 0 so hence first option is false now 
for option 3 you take the sequence or third option you take xn is equal to 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 and so on now note that here limit infimum of xn is equal to 0 for this sequence but clearly the sequence xn is not bounded because the terms are increasing 1 2 3 4 and so on so third option is also false now for the fourth option the counter example is you take xn is equal to 3 plus 1 by n the sequence 3 plus 1 by n now xn square is just 3 plus 1 by n square, correct?